Hi there guys, Vino here and welcome to this Vino Plunk production and in this Vino Plunk production, this video, we are going to be capturing some footage from this mini DV camcorder. So I've just recorded a video on this mini DV camcorder, I'll probably put it up in a card in the top right hand corner, hopefully I'll remember to do that and you guys can check that out before we continue on with this video. So in this video, I'm going to be using an old laptop that I've had for quite some time. We're going to use this disc, the CD, to install the software and see if we can use that to capture the footage off of this camera. So, without further ado, I'm going to connect up the power supply to this laptop. Because I don't think the laptop has any charge anymore. One thing I'm going to say is this little connector here. Sony really liked this connector back in the day for a lot of their different bits of equipment. Um, if I take out the, if I take this out, it's actually rather similar to the one they use for their cameras and what have you. So back in the day, although they were proprietary connectors, Sony did try and keep it relatively similar throughout the line of devices they had back in the day now let's see if we can plug this in i'm actually trying to find the pcg 11 sorry so this is sony vio pcg 141c if you want to look this up yourself so this is a an old Sony Vio I've had for quite some time. I bought this off of eBay for a very nice price when I got it. Um, these go for a very pretty penny on eBay and places now. I paid not a lot of money for this in comparison. I'm very chuffed with it. I'm trying to look for the CD attachment or bay. There we go. So you can actually this comes with it. It's a PC card attachment. There's the PC card. We're going to move put the tapes in there. Might need that. We're going to slot this in the side like so. Wrong way. Okay, that's now all slotted in. So let's turn it on. It would help if I had the plug plugged in. There we go. Let's turn it on. There we go. I'm actually very happy I finally get a use out of this thing. I thought this was actually a... Um, uh, probably because it hasn't been turned on for bloody ages. It's moaning at me. What was I going to say? Um... I've actually forgotten exactly what I was going to say. So these are actually part of Sony's media book line that they did during the late 90s, early 2000s. So these are actually really high-end laptops that were really expensive um, back in their day. Oh, PCG C1VE, but on the bottom it's a different... whatever. You can hear that hard disk crunching away, which is, unfortunately, I think it's a proprietary hard disk. So replacing it, if this goes, if this goes wrong, is going to be a pain in the But But who doesn't love that Windows ME startup tune? I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like Windows ME, but... You can't get much better than an old. <laughs> Let's see if we can zoom in ever so slightly. Yeah, there we go. That bit, that's a bit better. So, there we go. There's the disc. We're going to slot this into the, the CD drive. And we're going to see what happens when we... I think that's, there we go. I think this is just like warning because it's not connected to the internet or anything. But this thing takes a while to boot up because there's all sorts of different extra things. There's a jog wheel. We zoom back out. There's like a jog wheel here. There's all sorts of 
different things that this that this thing does. So let's zoom back in. So it wants to install the picture package. So let's, you know, install it. English, obviously. You can hear the uh, the CD drive whirring away. Sounds like a plane in the distance, which is interesting. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Note to self and to anybody else, don't drop CD drives as they are. There we go. There we go. That yeah, should be okay now. Just going to allow that to install. And then I suppose we'll see about capturing footage from the camera. You can just simply take the S video cables and plug them into a capture device and do it that way. But if you do it via Firewire or USB, it's actually a far better process. And actually, one thing that is actually really neat is <laughs> this this laptop actually comes with a male-to-male -male firewire cable focus doesn't like me but yeah fire male-to-male -male firewire cable so we can actually do this in the best quality possible to capture the footage from that camera so yeah just need to find the firewire port on the actual laptop oh there it is at the back there okay I actually while it's installing that picture package if we actually plug this into here I think that's where it goes yes it does go in there and then we can plug this into the camera in a moment and then we can capture some footage maybe So I'm just going to pause this. I'm going to go and capture some footage and I'll be back. So hi there guys. We are back after a couple of restarts. We are back for the uh, picture package. Picture, pa blah, picture package blah, blah, has been installed. And I've come over to here, Handycam Tools. And here's a video capturing tool. So why not? Let's check out the video capturing tool. And see if we can capture some footage. Can't find video camera. Well, do I have to connect it via USB and not Firewire? Let's try connecting it via USB and not Firewire. And see if that allows it to see the camera. So I'm going to plug the USB lead into the camera. And then find the port on the laptop. There it is. Just here. We'll plug it in. Now can you see the camera? No. Still can't see the camera apparently. Does the camera need to be off? Maybe not. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to troubleshoot this and come back. Because obviously it's not uh, it's not happy at the moment. Oh, let's do, let's search for the driver on the removable disc, click next, and there we go, hopefully it finds the driver on that disc so it can actually install it so we can get this <laughs> up and running. I'm hoping, really hoping.
I'm going to come back and hopefully it's found something. Oh, it's found something. Oh, it's installing something. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe we're onto something here. Windows has finished installing the hardware device. Okay. Well, that. That's promising. So let's unplug the USB lead. Unplug the Firewire and put the Firewire back in again. Because that dialog box popped up when I plugged in the Firewire cable. So hopefully now I've plugged that back in again. Version conflict. A file being copied is older than on your currently... Gonna keep this file. Yes. Uh, let's click no. Let's click no. We don't want. It's gonna ask us for every single file. I'll be back, guys. So I was playing around a little bit and then it pops up with this picture package menu here. So let's let's carry on down here. Save the images to a CD of a writable. Copy tape to video CD. Okay. Automatic music video producer. Okay, interesting. What's this? To give a let's make an original movie by using recorded video and this application. That sounds like something I might want to do. So let's try that. can hear that heart oh, just crunching away it's both nostalgic and worrying at the same time i have to say that much by the way this application popped up with adobe flash splash screen at the beginning oh adobe flash although it was an absolutely you know security nightmare um i'm still nostalgic for flash So just got to wait for this to pop up, which is what popped up before, but hopefully now it just says it can't find the video camera. Oh, maybe it can then. Oh, maybe it's found it because we got this logo here. We click on this. It's doing weird stuff. Is it going to do it? Is it not going to do it? Oh, there's something in the background. Oh, it's capturing. Well, well, well. I did not expect that to work. Capturing halted because sound format modified. Continue capturing to continue capture. Click yes. Okay. I was not expecting this. I'm going to be honest. It's connected via FireWire at the moment. Not via USB. So we are getting the best quality possible. The other thing about Firewire as well is it does allow the camera to time compress. So you can capture the footage at like double speed and things like that. Some of the really, really high end mini DV camcorders can capture at really fast speeds. So that's another thing, another, what's the word? Bonus, so to speak. Another feature when you're using a firewire, and you can see that's actually capturing quicker than it would be if it was just 
recording it in real time. So you can see the little bit of footage that I recorded for this experiment, demonstration if you will. Halted because aero blank tape has been reached. Okay, that's understandable. To complete the capturing, click save. And then we can look at it in there. You click save. Waiting for it to do its thing. December 1987, apparently. And it's captured each bit of that footage as its own separate file. That's pretty damn cool. Let's have a look. Can we double click on it and open it up? It's having problems playing back the footage, which, to be honest, I'm actually not too surprised about. But it is what it is. Let's close that out. And we'll go back to here. Because we, we are asking a lot of this. This little laptop at the moment. <laughs> oh, this is both funny and entertaining and all at the same time. Oh. I'm going to hazard a guess that that has captured properly. It's just we're asking too much of this laptop at the moment. Bless it. Um, it's doing all sorts of different things. It's connected to... The Sony Handycam, it's connected to this at the moment. It's doing all sorts of different things um, at the moment. I'm really not surprised that it's struggling to do various things. So what I think I'm going to do in this video here, and thank you guys for watching very, very much. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and me using an old laptop with an old, you know, an air appropriate laptop, an air appropriate camera, capturing some footage. And I'm going to go away, check out this footage, grab a USB stick, check out this footage and then we'll go from there and i'll give you a report down the road on if it managed to capture i think it did manage to capture um but this has been a trip down memory lane um this this actually worked far better than i thought it would work and maybe for some of the other laptops i've got lying around maybe we can do this again with some better results but until next time guys please take care and as always enjoy the rest of your day Ta-ra.